Aligarh Muslim University is a unitary residential central university of India. Before becoming a university, on 14 September 1920, the university was established as Madrasatul Ulum in 1875, which later became Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College in 1877. The founders' vision and mission of nation building, national integration, free inquiry, moral value, and tolerance can be witnessed even today. By virtue of its exceptional government provisions, Aligarh Muslim University stands distinct from any other university in the country. The Act of 1920 defines the university as the educational institution of their choice established by the Muslims of India. The Aligarh Muslim University Amendment Act of 1981, Statute 52C, empowers the university to promote especially the educational and cultural advancement of the Muslims of India. However, the university imparts education to students belonging to all religions, castes, creeds and nationalities. Article 246, 7th Schedule of the Constitution of India lists Aligarh Muslim University among one of the three institutions of national importance. Aligarh Muslim University has evolved by now into a colossal unitary institution. On the pattern of Cambridge and Oxford, the university has halls of residence. Each hall contains a cluster of hostels. Keeping in mind the founders' vision and mission, the university, since its establishment, provides wide range of academic flexibility by offering 320 programs and more of different studies. While education in sciences pertaining to engineering and technology, medicine, agriculture, biotechnology, brain studies, besides pure sciences revolve around advanced knowledge system, insightful learners have opportunities in literature, philosophy, languages, social science, legal studies, liberal arts and many others. Likewise, oriental learning and languages having Indo-Islamic flavor like Yunani medicine, Quranic studies, theology, Institute of Persian Research, Urdu Academy, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Punjabi, Kashmiri, Sanskrit, Islamic studies and Arabic are provided equal prominence in the university amidst secular values. The university takes pride in defining the student-centric approach to overall and curricular setup which generates life skills, character building, creativity, innovation, leadership qualities and scientific temper. In order to evolve as independent learners, students are involved in project-based learning, presentations, seminars, assignments, individual tutorials and lab work. Programs of studies at Aligarh Muslim University are designed, approved and also revised through a systematic process by the Board of Studies, Faculty Meeting and CSR as also the Academic Council. In addition to this, we have Curriculum Review and Curriculum Development Committees. The university offers 55 undergraduate 100 postgraduate, 29 MPhil, 60 PhD, and over 80 certificate and diploma courses. The statute and ordinances of the university makes special provision for interaction with industry, research bodies, civil society, and alumni. We invite personnel from industries as members of Engineering College Management Committee and the University Court. To encourage industry academia linkage, we offer executive doctorate, summer training, internships and placements. Alumni have due representation in bodies like University Court, Academic Council and others. 
there are innumerable private and public colleges in town teaching humanities, sciences, engineering and other subjects. But the demand ratio at the university is very high. Admissions to AMU or in fact all admissions are by All India Open Competitive Examinations. Adequate publicity for admission notifications is made through national and local newspapers and the university website. Confidentiality, anonymity and transparency in conducting entrance tests and admissions are maintained through use of biometrics, OMR sheets and digital photography of each candidate. Provision for the underprivileged is reflected in the admission policy through which the university reaches the unreached like socio-economically weaker sections, educationally backward regions, distant states, OBCs, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. The university follows latest UGC regulation of 2009 for admission to MPhil and PhD courses. AMU is in a position to declare roughly 80 to 85 percent results within 15 days of the examinations are over and 100 percent results are declared in not more than a month's time. The university is known for its uninterrupted academic sessions and regular teaching. Teachers' mobility and many other faculty recharge activities add to the quality of instruction in the university. A considerably good number of teachers have brought laurels to the university by bagging awards, honours and recognition at national and international levels. Aligarh Muslim University maintains 24 by 7 facilities for learning and studying in seminar libraries, reading rooms and book banks with Wi-Fi, internet facilities, computers and e-resources. The spirited non-teaching staff keeps the campus running and the university offers special courses and trainings for their professional and personal growth. Aligarh Muslim University is known for its exemplary research and extension services. Maulana Azad Library is the lifeline of the university campus. It comprises 12,39,245 volumes, 2,627 microfiche, 860 purchased ebooks, 1,16,000 downloaded ebooks, and 7,561 e journals. This library is deployed with the latest ICT facilities and has special provisions and resources for the visually challenged in the Braille section. The manuscript section of Maulana Azad Library preserves some rare collection like Translation of Bhagavad Gita in Persian by Abul Fez Fezi, one of the Navratans in the court of Akbar. A fragment of the Holy Quran on parchment inscribed by Hazrat Ali of 6th AD and various other pieces of art and artifacts. The university maintains over a dozen museums in various departments with incredibly rich collection. The Musa Dakri University Museum, for instance, preserves rare collection by the founder Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan himself. It includes various relics statues of Buddha and a votive pillar of sculptural and archaeological significance belonging to 1st century to 12th century AD. Besides, the university is in proud possession of murals by legendary artists like M.F. Hussain and Sadiqain. Interestingly, the university maintains off-campus centers at Javan in Aligarh district and in Ranikhet, Uttarakhand too, that strengthen our research outreach in the areas of health and wildlife respectively. Publications at Aligarh Muslim University have been enormous. In the last five years, we have published 9,261 papers in peer-reviewed journals, out of which 91% of papers are published in journals listed in well-known international databases. 
over 800 papers have more than 10 citations. Average impact factor for publication is 4.7. In addition to the research papers, 87 monographs, 769 chapters in books, 209 edited books have been published. These publications jointly have over 6,849 citations, 1 to 20 H index, and 0 to 10 impact factors. Besides these scholarly publications, an exceptional feature of the Aligarh Muslim University is the publication of a hall magazine in English, Hindi, and Urdu, contributed, compiled, and edited by students by each hall of residence. Not only this, students also publish magazines through the Students' Union, Department of English, and other literary clubs. In addition to these, more than 20 research journals are published by various departments of studies. Its rich industry academia linkage is a source of experience and extension for the university. In the past five years, the university has claimed for more than 50 patents registered and filed. Faculty of Unani Medicine needs a special mention here for its incredible contribution in developing exceptional drugs and their formulations. Over 100 drugs and formulations which are being used by various drug industries can be seen listed in the National Formulary of Unani Medicine. Dawakhana Tibya College of the University produces and markets over 200 medicines for curing various health issues. Extension and outreach services have been one of the basic missions of the Aligarh Muslim University, whereby the university adopts policies to achieve accessibility and inclusivity in order to help the deprived and the marginalized. The university, in general, provides admission, fees, hostel and food at exceptionally low rates in comparison to other institutions of India. Special centres at Malappuram in Kerala, Murshidabad in West Bengal and Kishanganj in Bihar embody the outreach mission of the university since these cater to the academic needs of some backward regions of the country. Besides, various departments in the university like Centre for Adult Education, National Social Service, National Cadet Corps, Departments of Social Work, Community Medicine, Pediatrics, Gynecology, Law, Medicine and many others have been engaged in commendable jobs in the areas of child labour, environment, health and hygiene, eradication of polio, among others, in collaboration with such agencies like UNICEF, WHO and NGOs by organizing camps, rallies, Nukkar Natak, poster exhibitions, blood donation and awareness campaigns. In addition to these, the recent introduction of the bridge course to bring Madarsa students to the national mainstream of education has shown excellent results. Aligarh Muslim University is like a mini township maintaining and extending infrastructural support to students, teachers, non-teaching staff spread over its departments, schools and colleges, hostels and residences, administrative offices, libraries, hospitals, computer centre and other facilities with optimum utilization for infrastructure, conducive physical ambience, and accessibility to differently abled students, among others. The campus provides learning resources to students and teachers at almost every location in the form of central library, book banks, departmental seminar libraries, 
reading rooms in halls of residence, besides online access to e-learning. The university also has a cybrary accessed by users from over 70 countries. The IT requirements and maintenance at Aligarh Muslim University is run by the Computer Center with a budget of about rupees 52 lakh allotted to the center it takes care of the IT infrastructure the campus is Wi-Fi and LAN enabled apart from video conferencing facilities smart classrooms language and computer labs and others it's important to mention here that the students mentoring is not done through spoon feeding rather they learn by doing that is, they hold the positions and responsibilities and their own teams to take care of the seminar libraries in the Department of Studies as seminar secretaries, as senior hall, senior food and others in the halls of residence, as secretaries of literary and culture clubs and as captains of different sports clubs. The University Games Committee maintains a wide range of sports facilities like playgrounds, courts, gymnasia, rinks, stadiums and clubs. Some exceptional features of the Aligarh Muslim University are riding club, skating rinks and astroturf. This club has produced such great sportsmen and Olympians like Aslam Shir Khan, Govinda, Zafar Iqbal and Lala Amarnath. I would like to mention that we pay special emphasis to women's education. I would like to say that approximately 30% of our students are women and they have contributed significantly in all spheres of activity, especially games. For example, Sara Nakhvi is the badminton champion uh, and she, she has won laurels for the university, including uh, Miss Anuraj Singh, who has won laurels in shooting. Differently able students are also provided sports facilities. There is a cricket team for the visually challenged that has won many championships representing the state. The Cultural Education Center at Aligarh Muslim University is the hub of literary and cultural activities on the campus. It comprises various clubs like Club for Short Evening Courses, University Drama Club, Eco Club, Film Club, Fine Arts Club, Fusion, Western and Hindustani Music Clubs, Literary Club, and University Hobbies Workshop. These clubs have created literary and cultural giants such as Anubhav Sinha, Dilip Tahil, Nasiruddin Shah, Muzaffar Ali, Saeed Jafri, Jamil Khan, Javed Akhtar, Kaifi Azmi, Habib Tanvir, Uma Devi, Salim Shah, Surekha Sikri, Talat Mahmood, N. Chandra and many more. The university provides immense attention to the placement of the students and there's an institutionalized mechanism of placement regulated by Central Training and Placement Office. After leaving the campus, the alumni make their marks, distinctions and identity all over the world by virtue of their training in character building and not merely as job seekers. The Aligarh Muslim University has a smooth system of governance, leadership and management. It has its internal organizational structure regulated by its own set of acts, statutes, ordinances and regulations. I'd like to mention that the President of India is the visitor to the university the governor of UP also holds the position of rector. We also have the AMU court, the executive council and the pro-vice chancellor. We have the honorary treasurer 
and different bodies which look after the administration of the university. There are different bodies that represent the staff and students and put forth the issues to the administration such as the AMU Teachers Association, AMU Students Association, Non-Teaching Staff Association, Technical Staff Association, 4th Grade Employees Association and the Nurses Union. These bodies have their representation in the AMU Court, Academic Council, Students Grievance Redressal Cell and the Committee Against Sexual Harassment and for Gender Sensitization. The university is constantly seeking innovations and best practices to revolutionize its working. There have been significant changes in terms of technology, infrastructure, facilities, academic practices, security, health services and financial support among many others. Our innovative best practices in admissions, examinations, dispersal of scholarships, salaries and pensions, energy conservation, plantation, waste management, accommodation for students and teachers and many other are remarkable and worth observing. With its glorious past and promising present, Aligarh Muslim University is always going to remain an important pillar of strength in nation building.